Hey, what's up? It's Little Scale here. I've got a PS4 controller that I want to use as a music controller in live. And the first thing I need to do is just to pair my controller to my computer. I can set the controller into pairing mode just by holding down share and the PlayStation button until the controller starts flashing. I can then open up my Bluetooth preferences and it should come up as a device. There we go. First thing I need to do is just choose the wireless controller as my HID device and from PS4 HID to MIDI app 1 as my MIDI output device. I should be able to see data coming into my controller window here. That means everything that I press should correspond to something on screen. Okay, now that we've got data coming into the app correctly, I can launch live. And first things first, I want to just open up my MIDI preferences and make sure that the input from PS4 HID to MIDI map 1 is set both to track on and remote on. Let's just chuck on a preset. Because this channel is in record monitor mode, We can hear there that it's working. Now I might want to map my analog sticks to some elements within live. To do that, I first want to just turn off all of my active data channels besides the element that I want to map. In this case, left analog X. Go into MIDI mapping mode in live, and then let's just choose a parameter. Move the stick, get out of MIDI mapping mode, and repeat that for other elements. Once we've done that, we can turn on all of our analog data from our controller app, maybe add some additional effects. And let's have a listen.